Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So I thought I'd uh, do this video because it's quite interesting and um, if you're building say speaker crossovers or anything to do with capacitors, inductors and resistors. So this is what is called a digital LCR tester meter and what this does is it gives you the values of your capacitors, your resistors and your um, inductors so let's crack on and i'll show you most importantly we've got a nice strong cup of black coffee there this morning fresh from the machine uh just to keep me awake because some nights i can't sleep because i'm thinking of audio so let's get this video going so i thought i'd start with uh, inductors first so this is a jansend audio um naught point seven two millihenries an air core inductor so i've got the uh the meter set to two millihenries so let's try this and see what this looks like now this inductor i'd cut a little bit of the wire off it was only a small amount but look that's virtually spot on that is there that's pretty close to uh, what it says on the inductor right so if you're upgrading a speaker crossover and take this this is out of the um, monitor audio radius 90 now there's nothing written on this at all so we don't know the value of it so this is why this piece of equipment is invaluable so let's put that on there on there and stick that on there there we go. So that's 0.495, which when you go on to Hi-Fi Collective's website, the closest to that is a 0.5 millihenry inductor. Let's try another one. So this is off the tweeter section. This is an air core of the uh, Radius 90. Two. 0.2 millihenry so that's what that is so you obviously if you're ordering upgrade parts you obviously need to get the right wire gauge as well as the uh, the amount of millihenries that the um, inductor uses so moving on to uh, resistors so this is uh, a Mundoff M resist supreme now this is uh, a 5.6 ohms resistor so we're going to turn the resistor around the uh, meter around to 200 ohms and let's check this one and see what this is see how close this gets to being what it should say on the tin so that's a bit out that one so that says it's a right let's just turn the wires around make sure that they're in the right the right way double check it again now that's more like it so that's saying it's a 5.3 5.4 now it says it's a 5.6 but that's close enough for me so this is a uh, uh, omite gold capacity uh, resistor here 10 watts 3.2 nine ohms so let's try this see what this measures there you go 3.7 ohms it's measuring on that which again is uh, fairly close so let's check an electrolytic capacitor now this is a a nitikon muse and it's a 50 volt 220 microfarad so let's just put the prongs on here what does it read 214 so you get a bit of a leeway either either way with uh, capacitors like this 
So the next one is a Nichicon Fine Gold, which is 47 UF by 63 volts. But um, let's try this and see how close we can get this one to it. That's not bad. 46. So that, that's very close. So here we have one of the uh, Audio Note Kaiser. Um, let's try this one. So this is very expensive. So you'd have thought this would be pretty spot on, but I bet it isn't. It's, it's give or minus 5%, I think. Or 2%. I'm not entirely sure. There we go. That's not bad. A hundred and one for a capacitor that is rated at a uh, hundred microfarad. So that's not bad. So here we have uh, a Mundorf aluminium Evo oil capacitor connected, which is meant to be 3.3 and it's come up at 3.2. So it's not it's not bad. It's close again. And now we have a 2.2 or 22. As I say, if you're building your own speakers, um, especially um, crossovers, one of these is invaluable and you're doing any sort of electronics and you want to test whether your electrolytic capacitors are drying out, then one of these is uh, invaluable. So, um, I think that's it. I hope you liked the video. It's just a quick video showing you about capacitors, resistors and inductors and how to measure them. So thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.